The mega toy retailer Toys R Us was founded with a simple idea to sell toys at competitive prices in a store that appeared to have every toy in the world. The idea worked quite well and Toys R Us was one of the biggest toy retailers in the United States, until it wasn't. Toys R Us once dominated children's imaginations and outranked its competitors, but in 2017 the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. What exactly happened? The most common belief is that Amazon killed Toys R Us, but that is just the tip of the iceberg. In this video, we will uncover the whole truth of the story. But first, don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button for regularly posted content just like this. So without any further delay, let's begin. To get a clearer understanding of how it all went down, we need to know some historical background of the company. The story of the company's foundation is an interesting one. In 1948, Charles Lazarus had a brilliant idea in his mind. Well, it was more like a hunch. He just returned from his service in World War II and he knew he wanted to embark on a new venture. Lazarus sensed that a wave of the baby boom was about to sweep the nation. In an interview, Lazarus revealed that everyone he talked to said they were going to go home, get married, and have children. As Pablo Picasso said, action is the foundational key to all success, and Lazarus was quick to take action. He decided to open a store in his father's bicycle repair shop, not to sell bikes, but to sell cribs, strollers, carriages, high chairs, and pretty much everything for the baby. He named the store Children's Bargain Town. His instincts told him the timing was right, and as we can see today, his instincts were on point. The baby boom hit in the 1950s. Strong post-war economic conditions gave Americans hope that they could support their family members. Lazarus's instincts helped him to capitalize on the baby boom. One day, a customer entered the store and asked, how about a toy for my baby? Lazarus also started selling toys after that. Lazarus observed that customers stopped returning for additional strollers, high chairs, and other baby items, but they did come back for the toys, so he started selling more and more toys. But he was not content with just one store. He had an idea for a gigantic toy store that would have every toy in existence, better than his current store or any other children's store he had ever seen. He left the baby furniture industry, pivoted completely to the toy industry in 1957, and changed the name of his business to Toys R Us, and opened the first mega store for toys. The new mega store sold toys in a supermarket style manner, setting it apart from every other toy store in existence. Toys R Us offered thousands of unique toys which attracted customers because they had never seen stores that big and packed with so many toys. Transformers, Barbie, G.I. Joe, you name it. Toys R Us had everything. TV advertisements also contributed to the popularity of the company. As more and more people got their TVs in their houses, Toys R Us got more business because of the toy makers who advertised on TV. This made people want to buy more toys from Toys R Us, and let's not forget the store's mascot, Jeffrey the Giraffe. I mean, the giraffe got so popular they even gave him a wife and kids. The company went public in 1978, and because of Toys R Us, the toy industry went from $500 million to a $12 billion industry by 1990. At its peak, Toys R Us sold 18,000 different toys at 1450 different locations around the world. At that time, Toys R Us had a total control over a quarter of the globe toy market. Everyone seemed to be a Toys R Us kid back when the store was in its prime. So what went wrong? What reduced this giant to ashes? Is Amazon to be blamed? Well, not entirely, but Amazon did have a hand in the collapse of Toys R Us, but it's just one of the five main reasons for the undoing of Toys R Us. Number one, failure to adapt and innovate. History has proven time after time that if you don't evolve with time, you are bound to fall behind. Similarly, as the world of business evolved and technology advanced, Toys R Us struggled to keep pace. As e-commerce rose, the global market expanded and online gaming took hold. The retail giant failed to adapt and update its strategies. The world was moving very fast, but instead of using the big size of the company to its advantage, Toys R Us fell prey to it, and its inability to change proved fatal. Number 2. Competing on Price Alone After losing the race in technology and innovation, Toys R Us started competing on price alone. The company tried to sell its toys at the cheapest prices, but Toys R Us forgot that there will always be a cheaper alternative, so aiming for the lowest price is never the best plan. And now, Toys R Us was not competing with the small family businesses, but with other massive retailers like Amazon, Walmart, and Target. Walmart was even willing to sell the toys at a small loss just to get people on its door. Number 3. The Nefarious Amazon Deal In the year 2000, Toys R Us and Amazon joined forces in a decade-long partnership. The deal allowed Toys R Us to stock a wide range of its most popular toys on Amazon and be the exclusive toy seller of Amazon, in exchange for $50 million a year plus a percentage of sales through Amazon. 
Toys R Us even agreed to redirect customers from its own website back to Amazon. In just two years, their partnership was a hit. But Amazon played dirty and started allowing the retailers to sell their toys and baby products on Amazon, hence violating its deal with Toys R Us. As expected, Toys R Us sued Amazon and eventually collected $51 million from Amazon, but the damage was more than that. You see, for Amazon, the deal was not about increasing the revenue in toy sales, it was to eliminate the competition. Amazon conditioned customers into buying toys online, and at the same time, Amazon stopped Toys R Us from increasing its online presence. By the time Toys R Us realized what was going on, it was already too late and the company fell behind its competitors. Number 4. Management Myopia The downfall of Toys R Us is a classic case of management myopia, where the company's leaders failed to see the bigger picture and believed they were untouchable at the center of the toy industry. This narrow-minded thinking led to the downfall of many corporate giants like Nokia. This myopia also led to a lack of trust between management and employees. Employees feared that they would lose their jobs, so store employees manipulated customer surveys, hiding the truth from upper management. It is said that trust is the cornerstone of business, and when trust is lost, it can shut down business. Number 5. Debt in 2004, Toys R Us put itself for sale and in 2005, it was taken private in a leveraged buyout. Before the buyout, Toys R Us already had a debt of $1.86 billion. After the acquisition, the debt soared to a massive amount of $5 billion. It was reported that by 2007, Toys R Us was paying 97% of its profit in paying interest. Can you imagine? The company was left with so little profit that it could not make any upgrades. It was like the company was handcuffed. In 2017, the company filed for bankruptcy and had to close roughly 700 stores and eliminated more than 40,000 jobs. So is it all over for Toys R Us? No, it's not how bad you fall, but how you stand back up. The company that is connected to the hearts of a generation does not plan to stay down. In 2019, Toys R Us had a partnership deal with a company named True Kids, but True Kids broke the deal and went to partner with Amazon. Finally, in 2021, brand management company WHP Global acquired Toys R Us. WHP Global partnered with Macy's to help Toys R Us sell toys via Macy's. More than 451 Toys R Us stores have already been set up by Macy's, and Joffrey the Giraffe is back in action. We don't know what the future has in store for Toys R Us, but one thing is clear. The story of Toys R Us has become a tale of what not to do in the business world. Do you think Toys R Us will become the giant it once was? Please leave your comments below, we would love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel to watch more great content like this, thank you for watching.